In this next video, I'll discuss the Define Species option in iTree Streets. This can be accessed under the Input menu. You'll see Input Species. And this opens up a dialog box that says Define Species. And what you have here is the available species for the climate zone that you selected. And so in my case, I selected the Midwest. So these are all the trees that would be available for data collection. What you see here is the species codes that Streets uses, the common name, scientific name, and assigned species value in a non-tree column, which we'll talk about a little bit. Uh, each one of these to give you an idea of what they are. Streets uses species codes primarily, and it's helpful if your data collectors have these in the field. They're more than likely going to come across something that's not on this list and they can add in a new code. You can find these codes on the website also underneath the resources archive section and you'll see them under street stratum resources and it's just an Excel file that you can download and you'll actually see all the different climate zones available. So I have the Midwest one here I like to highlight that just so I know which one I'm working on in case I toggle on to a different one. And this will be the same as what you see in the iTree Streets dialog. So in this demonstration, I'm going to add a tree species to this list that I want to be available to my field collectors. So the first thing I'm going to do is verify that it's not here. So what I want to add is a Freeman maple. and you don't have to add these and so this is just for demonstration purposes if you are a splitter rather than a lumper you may want to add in cultivars or you might have different trees in your inventory or on your streets that aren't available here so the first thing you want to do is select new and this will bring you down to the bottom of the list and you want to then assign an unused or unique species code we then have to fill in the common name and a scientific name. And then we have the assigned species value column. And you'll notice that you can't enter in any values manually. And that's because you need to then go down to the drop down area where it says assigned species value. And what you're trying to do is identify a tree that is most similar in terms of size, characteristics, of the tree that you're adding and that tree will then be used as a basis for providing ecosystem service estimates for our Freeman maple. So these are the trees that are available in the Midwest and this goes back to the US Forest Service's research that was conducted in this particular case it was Minneapolis these were the trees that were modeled so I'll use the red maple in this case it is also possible to go in and modify other trees. So in the Midwest, this is based on a study that was done in Minneapolis, but perhaps in a different area of the Midwest, I might say that my trees grow a little bit differently. Perhaps I'm in the southern part of that climate region. You can modify some of these accordingly. You will not be able to modify those that were actually modeled. So for instance, the American basswood. I can't change that one. That one is hard coded in, so you'll see that that's grayed out. But just a general basswood, perhaps I want to reassign that. And then we'll select OK. Do a file save project. And we're ready to go.